being outside, warm mouth, taxi door slamming. What is on the door? Yes, you did. Slam the door and pound the door by the I remember. Martha, I didn't. In your present? Yes, you did. Something dinky in those pockets. Martha, I just didn't. I didn't even get the kids one. Tight bastard. No. Did you get her one? Not now. Exotic toys, very exotic this toys. This is not about her. Is it true what they say? No. You don't even know what I'm going to say. I don't want to. <sighs> Worried I'm going to be rude. Worried I'm going to be vulgar. You don't like that, do you, kid? That's why you married her, I think. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. What? It must be Christmas time, surely. All of us together in one room. <laughs> oh no. I forgot. We don't even do that at Christmas. Mia, take Henry to get changed and go to school. It's after nine. I'll pick you up after. We'll talk then. Right now I need to do all Martha. You didn't tell him. You don't know the fucking half of it, do you, Dad? I don't go to school anymore. I dropped out. About a year and a half ago, actually. Do you know about I thought you'd have noticed when the tuition fees stopped popping out your account every three months. Why wasn't I told? <laughs> you didn't ask. I didn't ask because I take it on assumption that my children attend school like every other normal teenager in the country. A year and a half ago. And what may I ask have you been doing since then? What do you think? I don't know, Henry. I have no idea. He's been here <coughs> with me. Here. In this fetid bedroom. I've been teaching you art. Look. Sketch. He's good at it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's just funny, that's all. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> <laughs> Mia, don't shout at me. Look, I know the 
This is very emotional. How the fuck would you know how emotional it is? You weren't there. You didn't see. Yeah, please, that's hardly how it Ooh, Daddy O's in trouble now. Shut up! Go on then. Daddy O. I go voluntarily. Oh. You know what I can do. Are you threatening me? Oh, he's flown all the way over to do what he likes to do best. Oh, your daddy's just a tiny man. He used to fold his own underwear. He's just a tiny man who wants to tidy me away and you two up. Not for you, for him. Don't be under any illusions, sweetie. Your daddy doesn't give a fuck about you. Threatening me. And we sit down. You look ridiculous. Martha, I'm not threatening you. I'm simply making you aware of your options. You could threaten me over the phone, could you? Just say yourself. Um, and you leave me no choice. Oh, but that choice suits you though, Hughie, doesn't it? Did he tell you that I called him? It's cheaper to get me sectioned for the NHS, I suppose. I called him. Did he tell you that in your heart to heart? I told him I needed his help, that I couldn't do it on my own. Don't be fooled, sweetie. He's been waiting for this. It's true. Of course not. He sat under the sun and he waited. So they could polish me off at the expense of the taxpayer. Second family's got more expensive, eh? Third rate geisha got herself for expensive tastes. Did she call you? Look at her. Tell her the truth. Mia, your mother is a very sick woman. But I promise you, I thought. What did you think? I thought what you told me last night was true. Do you think you can know? Petal, you're just a mess to him. We're just a mess to him. Of course, you always talked about this. Stopped hearing from us. When you stopped getting Henry's school reports, why didn't you call? Why didn't you check? I thought you were okay. He wanted to think we were okay. He didn't give a shit. Why would I be here if I didn't? So that you don't have your good name suddenly because your daughter's taken his care. That's the real reason, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Look at him. See him for what he really is. You could have stopped all of this. She left. And she was sick when you left, but you left us anyway. When you're older. You wouldn't know me when I'm older. <laughs> Good girl. We don't need him, do we? It's too late for him. Come on, sweetie. Come and sit with me and Henry. Come on. Me and Henry over here. Come on. You never really wear a tall bloke. No! Henry, take her outside. Was that an order, sir? I'm not going anywhere. This is not your problem. This is not your house. This isn't even your fucking continent anymore. I have flown halfway across the world to help you sort out this. Do you think this is my idea of a splendid morning? I thought you were at school. I thought you were better than this. I'll tell you that. I'm very surprised no, you. I know you're happy. I know I haven't been perfect, I know that. But right now, I am trying to get this resolved. This is why I want you to go to school. This is why. Oh, but you didn't want to. I should have made you. Look at you. Christ. If you want to help her, you have to work together as a team. Okay? Martha. I'll deal with her. You're not coming anywhere near her. I'm dealing with her. No. 
Me and Hen, you say we're right here, aren't we, Hen? Me and my big brother and take me off this, please. Go if you want. Go with tea, Daddy, huh? Henry, I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him anything. I did what you wanted. This isn't my fault. I'm sorry about what I said. I had it under control. is now, ain't he? Look at him. You've gone red, sir. You don't have a choice. She's going. No. You can't just do that. You can't just come here in your chinos with your solution. It's just not right. Because you see, Daddy. You left me here all by myself, so I did what I thought you should have done. I took care of her. I took very good care of her, like she was broken. Except I thought I could fix her. Thought I'd do anything to fix her. Used to wish on eyelashes. Henry. It's just not right! You're not right! It pisses on me. You are pissing on me! None of you understand, do you? None of you. Five years I have tried and tried and none of you understand anything about it. All the blood she's kicked from my heart and now you piss on me too. You piss on all I've done. I might as well piss on me. With that scare you. Would that scare you away? You don't like things to be crazy, do you, Daddy? Do you? They make you run away! Jesus. Come on, baby. Come on, next to me. Come on, sit down and please, baby. Come on. Stupid me. You. You promised I would have been the one to have got you to go. One thing, so I know it wasn't all one terrible mistake, so I know I helped you. All that trying and crying and trying. For what? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. After one drink, after another drink, you wouldn't. All night you wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't. Trapped us here so he could see how bad we'd got it. Newsflash, he doesn't fucking care! I care! Set a trap for your beautiful boy. Your beautiful baby. Well, how's your soldier boy now, my man? How is your soldier boy now? Come on, baby, please, come on. Now, come on, please, come on. Okay.
to make them go away. <laughs> Don't go and fit it. <laughs> fit together. <laughs> we fit together. I'll lie to the doctors. I'll say she made it all up. If you stay, things will be okay. Go. <laughs> I gave you what you wanted. I chose you. Choose me back. Choose me back. I'm calling now. No. Choose me back. I want you to see me taken. Fucking leave. Baby <laughs> boy.